This video is about retrocausality versus predictive programming. The reason why they are versus is because they are opposites, opposite theories with opposite consequences, logical consequences. So, for example, if you believe in retrocausality, it means that you should logically not believe in conspiracies and there is a good um, it is advantageous to strive to have a consistency in your logical reasoning if you don't have consistency in the logical reasoning it means that over time you will feel a pain of cognitive dissonance because you will mix the two terms retrocausality predictive programming and you your you will be inconclusive about how you see the world because these two are opposites they they don't really it is competing theories one theory is competing with the other and there is no point in mixing them each one of these theories fully explain the state of things so either you you think about predictive programming thing people are planning everything and that means including all the artists all the artists are planning everything and they are in a conspiracy, they are in, in, in a meeting. So it's irrational actually and illogical to mix these two. Uh, you have to have some, what is it called, stoicism, some stoicism, stoicism to make your, yourself robust robust in your worldview don't mix them retrocausality means that there will be spontaneous patterns evolving in nature and this is why you see fractals while predictive programming is a childish childish way of seeing reality where you are not open to fractal reality yet so you believe in conspiracies i understand if you do because it sure it surely looks like that sometimes and that's why you need this consistency this stoic calm and logical congruency to simply reason with yourself that retrocausality has nothing to do with conspiracies if you are beginning to realize that there is a retrocausality it means that there are no conspiracies you simply have to have that opinion instead it is spontaneous and that's the thing maybe that's scary maybe that's even more scary than conspiracies because spontaneous things are even more unpredictable sometimes it feels good to have a leader or at least know that there is a leader but spontaneous patterns means a kind of chaos a chaos that is scary but it's important to maintain a logical congru congruency to be robust in your beliefs so that you grow strong <laughs> right you get it it's a waste of energy to to um, to mix these two so 
when you grow out of uh, being a child and believing in predictive programming and conspiracies, you go into retrocausality, and that means that there are no conspiracies. Just and uh, and it is related to you know you, the the good thing about predictive programming is that there is some enemy out there that you can blame for the evil that you see and that's also something that people want to do just because you realize that there is retrocausality maybe you still want to blame something evil that is out there and uh, that's the problem right because if there are spontaneous patterns it is abstract and no one is really guilty for everything instead everyone are and and yeah so that's that's tough right it's tough and so people will fall into the fallacy of believing in retrocausality and still trying to maintain the idea of conspiracies so that they can get some kind of exhaust for for how they feel that there is an evil in the world when the evil is within within everyone again it's about maturity okay see you bye